Hey guys, under the Sides here. This is Terraria. Well, a let's a little let's play. It's just um, a little thing I'm going to be doing on the side. I think I'm going to stick with kind of like um, default little character. Throw in the name under the Sides. Actually, you know what? I am going to adjust him a little bit. If I'm going to be playing with him, I want to be happy with who I'm staring at. So I'll be back in a moment. So here we go. It's my little character. Looks like he's just come out of jail in Oblivion. Put in my name, see if I can spell it right. That'll be a brilliant start. So there we go. On the side, it's gonna. We've got a world here, LP world. Um, I literally been playing this for an hour and a half yesterday, so I'm still pretty new at it. Got a basic idea of what I'm supposed to do, but um, that's about it. It is pretty basic. So I'm gonna start by hacking down some wood. You start off with two tools. That dude down there, that's a guide. He'll tell you what kind of stuff you can do. Um, you start off with a copper axe and a copper pick. So I'm going to be just hacking down this wood right now. I'm going to I'm going to make a little house up on this hill here. There's the guide. You'll get attacked by monsters and stuff. So I'm going to just get all this wood and um, see if we can make a little house or something. Let's clear off all this uh, from the top of here. So uh, if you're watching this, please feel free to leave me tips and comments and hints in the comment section because I'm going to need them. Yeah, as I was saying, I've got a fairly basic idea of what to do on this, but um, that's about it. Fairly basic. It looks like there's a nice little cave right next to where we started, so that's that's cool. Um, let me just go get. Oh, there's some copper. Is that right there as well on the surface? Very handy. So I tell you what, let's uh, get this copper straight away. Let's dig away at this copper. Um, some of you might be thinking, hang on, this is a bit like Minecraft. Well, you'd be right. It's a sandbox game based on mining and digging and killing monsters. But that's about as far as the similarities go. Um, obviously, there's similar tools. you got a shovel, you got an axe. Well, you don't have a shovel in this, but you have an axe and a pickaxe. But that's because you've got a mine. I mean, any mining game is going to have similarities in it. So, um, let's see if I can just quickly build a workbench. Plunk this down. Ooh, didn't want to do that. See, this is ooh gold. Right, let's just kill this slime quickly. There we go. Uh, scroll over to this. Throw this workbench down. Now, if we stand near the workbench, we can start making some slightly better materials. So what I'm going to do is right. So I'll have, I think I'm going to have um, the back of my place being completely wood. So I'll be. Um, Digging some stone walls to put around here. Oh, there's another slime coming. Let me see if I can quickly build a wooden sword just so we can take care of that slime. Take all these out of here for now. Let's get my sword out and just take care of this slime quickly. Cheeky monkey. And there's another green slime trying to get at us from this side, so we'll just take care of that guy as well. Whoops. Now we can eat this mushroom to heal some health. Um. Right, so what I want to do is oh, let's make a hammer as well. That's handy for doing some other things which I can't remember right now. Get this sword out. It's like these guys aren't going to leave us alone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly dig a little hole just here so I can get at some of this stone that's underneath my house. And um, I'm going to build like a little shelter for myself uh, so that I don't get attacked by monsters during the night. Because as you expect in games like this, monsters will come out at night. They're not going to come out during the day. Apart from slimes, slimes are quite happy to come out during the day. But you'll get attacked by other things. you get uh, demon eyes and zombies during the night come in to attack your house. And the zombies in this game are very agile, so it's, they're a lot harder to avoid than they are in some other games. Like, um, you think of the zombies, or the uh, whatever they're called, things that have got head crabs on them in Half-Life. I mean they're pretty easy to avoid so I'm just going to cover this back up and like give myself a little bit of a foundation going on here. So, um, oops, didn't want to do that. Kind of like just build a wall going up here and then going across, give myself a ceiling and then another wall coming up here. You kind of just like draw your, um, your walls in so if I go back in here and we should have uh, wooden walls, wood walls, there we go. 
I'm going to give myself a whole bunch of these. Use up quite a lot of wood. But um, it's worth it. And then if I throw in some walls in the background, this will stop monsters spawning in my house. Which is something you want to do. Um, let's fill in all this back here. See there's a bit missing in the background. There we go. And there's a hole there. There we go. Now I want to put a torch up on the inside. Like so. There we go. And this is a nice little room going on here. Um, I can craft a door. I'll make two of these. Because I want one on either side of my house. So that I can get in from either way. So if I do that. Then I can put a door in here, and then do the same on the other side. Have another little door. Um, you can see the sun's in the middle of the sky. Similar to Minecraft, it actually shows you the time by uh, the sun going across the sky in this game. So see if we can make anything else cool in here at the moment. Tables and chairs. If I build a table and a chair, I might get someone moving into my little house. So if I put this down, say, there and then a chair next to it. Might get wherever that guide's gone, I think he's swimming down here at the moment. So he's probably not going to be able to get out of there actually. Um, we might want to make it... Ooh, there's a slime coming. We might want to make a way for him to get out of there eventually so he can come move into our house. I suppose we could dig down here and he could um, come up from our house underneath I think. Although I'm not sure if he's going to be stuck down there forever now. Either way we've got a nice little place going on here. Um, I might have to try and get him back up here off screen and then kind of like build a bridge over here and over here so people don't fall in those holes. So this is a little place I've got for myself right now. Um, whoop, just through my wood walls. Getting used to the controls still, still getting used to the controls. We're getting used to the controls for quite a while so what else can we build? Chairs, tables, workbenches. I think we've built pretty much all the interesting things we can build. Build a bunch of arrows that we can uh, shoot with. Like most games, you can pick up the arrows once you've fired them, providing they don't break on impact with something. Looks like there's another cave going on down there. Might be interesting to explore down there in a moment. Um, thinking what, what to do now. You can also make flaming arrows by mixing arrows with torches. Let's go through the things I'm missing. Hammers, it does, it's very slow. It's not very good as a weapon. But um, you can knock some items out with a hammer that you can't knock out with a sword. It's very slow, does slightly more damage. Now this wooden sword is a very basic sword. 7 damage, average speed. We've got the workbench we've put down which allows us to build more things. A wooden table, we can put things on that and make it into different things. We've got a sign. I'll make a sign. Let's throw that up randomly. Wooden platforms, these are very handy. You can place these, make a whole bunch of those. Make even more I think. Um, and they're kind of like, you can fall through them, like some of the, the platforms you get in uh, Super Mario. I'm going to put this sign up here. Look, ah, there we go. Let's edit it. Hello. <laughs> Don't know where that apostrophe came, on. It came from. Dave's house, yeah? Full stop. Don't need an exclamation mark there. So there we go. Oh, I didn't save it. <laughs> Hello. Dave's house, yeah? Question mark, I suppose. There we go, save. So we've got a little sign so a bit other people can read, I guess. Right, so it's getting dark now, so I can either spend the night here or I can go into a cave. I'm going to go into a cave, personally, so... If we head down here, we can hold the torch and kind of see what's going on. Ooh, now that's funky. I forget what these things are, but I'm pretty sure we can smash them with a the hammer. This is one of the things you need a hammer for. Put a torch up so I can see. kind of want to get up there as well, so... Um, what I can do is like I can jump up and place these underneath me. If I swing away, I can't reach those. Um, let's use some of these stone blocks to get up there that I've also dug away. There we go. Nice and close to this copper ore now. So let's dig up some more of this copper ore. And let's go explore what that thing is down there. I believe it's some sort of nasty, nasty thing. But um, I can't remember. So let's just smash it with a hammer. Oh, gold. Okay. Don't want to do that. It's hurting me. Don't smash those things with a hammer. Right. These jars you get around, they'll contain interesting items. And you can smash them with various items, various tools. It looks like we've got a load of water down here. Now, our character can't swim. He's only got a limited lung capacity as well. 
looks like I can't even jump out of here, so I'm going to use one of these ledges just to get out of here. Place it up there, then I can... Well, that was idiotic. Right, I'm going to smash that out with a hammer. Since this is one of the few things you can smash out with a hammer. Let's put a little ledge in there so I can jump up on that and get out of this this horrible cave. Right, so I'm not sure what you have to do with those. Um, post in the comments if you do know. It looks like I smashed it with a hammer and hurt myself, so I won't be doing that again. Because I don't like getting hurt. Just grabbing a bit more stone in case I need it. This looks like some sort of item up here that I could collect. doesn't look like stone. It's not grey enough to be stone, so I'm going to see if I can grab a couple of these. Another thing that probably would have been a good idea is lighting up outside my house a little bit because it's actually quite dark. What's this? All this iron ore right outside my house. I can see some more copper ore over here in the wall so I'll have to get that at some point as well. Oh, I can't reach. Let's jump up a little bit further. Should be able to reach it all from here. So if I just hack this out like so. There we go. Getting all of that now. And um... I should be able to knock a hole in this wall and kind of dig through to that copper ore because I want that copper ore too. And put a torch down so I can still see where I'm going. Oh, there's a lot of copper ore here. So I'll just dig away at all of this. Not sure how much longer I'm going to keep recording for. Probably just get this copper ore and head home, place a few torches. Um, please, please comment and uh, tell me what I should be doing, things I should aim for because at the moment I'm just pottering around seeing what there is, I'm learning as I go at the moment so and it's pretty slow learning when it comes to me so please tell me what things I should be trying to aim for, what I should try, and try to achieve things like that, any goals, anything that I should look out for, anything I should be careful of please just point it out, I'd be very appreciative if you do um, it didn't look like there was too much else going on over there. Well, there's another slime. Let's go kill this slime. Slimes are good because you get gels from slime and you can make torches. And I really need a mushroom or something. So if I ever find some sand, I think you can make sand into bottles and then use bottles, gel, and mushroom to make. Um, what do you make them out of copper coins. I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, you always have money here, which the reason for having money will become apparent later on. Um, there's one of the demon eyes I was talking about. These guys are actually fairly easy to take care of, although that zombie's there now. Zombies are fairly easy to take care of as well. I'm just going to stand here and hack away at these guys as they try and get into my house. Just defend my hovel. Um, eventually you get better swords, so this won't take half as long, because these guys have got quite a lot of health. They've got 45 health, the demon eyes have got 60 and hitting them at 4 damage a time is going to take ages so now that zombie's gone I'm actually going to try and jump out here and take care of this zombie demon eye thing a little bit more effectively just hack at it oh missed it then, never mind I'll get it come on oh, is it? oh crap it's in my house actually that's probably a good thing because then I can just corner it and slice it to pieces and there's another zombie at my other door so let's let him in shall we so if I can close the... Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, and I was slain. But I think I spawned pretty much like right here, so with any luck, I'll just reappear here. The only thing you drop is your money. You don't drop your items when you die, so that's, that's a good point. But I died inside my house, so I didn't really lose too much. Um, well, I think that's about it for now. Um do some more cave exploring, look for some more items or something in the next video I guess. I know I'm trying to build a furnace but I can't remember what I need to build a furnace. I probably need more stone or something but eventually I'll have enough materials to build the things I'm looking for so oh, I've got a lens. You can make some pretty cool goggles out of lens but I can't remember how to do that. What have I got? I've got dirt blocks, stone blocks, those platforms, iron ore. Let's put that dirt block up there because that's more handy. Acorns, I think I can grow trees with that. Gel, um, more wood. What's that? Copper, wood. Pick up that lens, I want to leave that lens around. So, um, I'll attack this zombie. And in the next video, we'll see what I can get up to. Hope you enjoyed this. It's not going to be everyday uploads, it'll be whenever I get around to it uploads. So, 
Until the next video, take care guys.